set. Hit the stumps with a direct hit. And I think the Australian captain has gone. Well, I can tell you, Alan and Inda nodded. And I think he thinks it's out. Now, let's have a look. Direct hits usually mean trouble. Now then, watch this. In he comes. Oh, he's struggling. He's out. Gone by a distance. What a... Well, can you believe it? Ponting at full tilt. Look at him reaching for the line there. No dive. Here it comes. The Australian captain has to go. Run out. Direct hit by England's 12th man. He's made a name for himself. Overnight. Ponting having words with some of the England team. I don't know what about. He can just go and take his pads off and have a cup of tea. It's a terrific piece of fielding. The captain's gone for Australia. Very Pratt. He's uh, gone. He's gone for 48. It's 155 for three. Here comes Michael Clark in at number five. Only 16 matches, 25 innings, nearly a thousand runs. Average is 40. One of the fresh new faces in the Australian lineup, and he's replacing uh, Ricky Ponting, who has run out. Run out by uh, Gary Pratt, the England 12th man. Ponting, not particularly enamoured with something. I think it may be the fact that England have a 12th man on, but in all fairness, it's on for Simon Jones, who's been off the field for an hour or so. Oh, look at this, it's a great piece of fielding. It's not a very good run, it has to be said. The Australian captain is struggling, he's gone. It's a terrific piece of fielding. That's gone. That's a big, big wicket. A hugely significant moment there. No wonder the England boys are so pleased. Australian captain short of his ground, it was a poor run.